share with you a little bit about why I started the Black Dress Studio. If you didn't already know, and if you haven't subscribed yet, I've been a professional actor for 18 years. That's correct, guys. 18 years. Black don't crack. And I have a lot of friends and colleagues in this business, and some of them of the Caucasian persuasion um, have remarked to me that they didn't really think that minorities wanted to be in the business because they never saw them in class or in school. I even had a conversation recently with a friend who said to me, well, what are you gonna do after you interview all 12 members of the African Canadian theater community? I got tired of hearing people say African Canadian, Asian Canadian, Latina, a Canadian, we don't have them here in Canada, which is simply a lie. It is just not true. I simply got tired of trying to explain to my friends that the reason why they weren't seeing us in TV and film, on stage, and in class was because we didn't think it was a viable option. We grew up believing that acting uh, was not for us, that dancing was not for us, because we were never represented on stage, in theater, in TV and film. So why even pursue it? I just simply got tired of trying to explain that to everyone. It's completely cyclical. So I want to give people an opportunity to, to express their stories, to explain to the future generations of this business that it is a viable option, that the more colors of the rainbow on stage and in TV and film, the more interesting those parts are, the more interesting those TV shows and those films and those, those plays are, when we can see more people representing themselves on stage, it becomes a, a bigger story, a better story. And so I wanted to give people of color an opportunity to share their stories and hopefully inspire the future of this amazing industry. If there's one thing that I've learned that is really important, in my humble opinion, it's that there's always going to be somebody prettier than me, somebody smarter than me, someone taller than me, someone thinner than me, there's always going to be somebody more than me, but there's only going to be one me. And hopefully there's always going to be somebody that wants me. And that's the same for you. If you can bring that kind of perspective to your auditions, to your uh, life, really, then you can stop comparing yourself to everybody else because you have to know that there's a place for you. You have to know it. And you have to know that you're going to get the things that are supposed to be for you. Don't get me wrong. You're going to be disappointed that you didn't get that thing. But if you remember that that thing was never really for you, if you didn't get it, then you can have resilience. The thing that you get is for you. Don't forget to subscribe so you never miss another episode of The Blackter Studio.